before ever we um, start drawing the cow, you need a good idea of what you've got in the pen. Then you need to let the pen outside and have a good look around it, get it out in the open because everything looks bigger outside the pen and then sort of go for a pre-select. So if you want, uh, it's a bit of a labour saver as well because say if you want 20 cattle out the pen, you don't have to run the other 40, you have to run the full 40 over the crush. We need to make a decision very early on in the process of drawing cattle of whether we're going live or dead. Generally live cattle need to be top spec, uh, sort of a butcher's beast sort of thing, not too heavy, not too light and probably marginally on the leaner side than your factory cattle. Whereas your dead cattle, uh, you've got a lot more variation in there. You could be going from an Angus to a black and white uh, and you've got to make that fit, fit the factory and the grader that you're sending them to. You've got your 20 cattle to go down the race and obviously we want to check the weights and we want to check the confirmation and the fat cover so quick look at the tail head have a good look at the brisket and rub your hand over the line make sure it's well fleshed up and full up i mean not every beast will fit the bill but near enough is good enough if you have a processor with two abattoirs with different graders at them, we can place cattle at either one to fit that spec because there is variation between how one man grades uh, in one factory to how another man grades in the other factory, even within the same group of companies. If we're sort of drawing Angus, when they look full, you can pile a bit more on them. You can always fill an Angus up a bit more. Where obviously you don't want them too fat, but when, when they look like a 4H in my eyes, it's probably come back a 4L. So I'll work on that. Uh, obviously your confirmation is going to be, you know, O plus. You may get a few hours among them. I'm talking Dairy Cross now, not Pures. And your Pures will come back uh, 4Ls all day long. Blues. They'll do the 90 days here, they'll put the weight on, they'll do 1.8 a day. Um, they're not particularly a beast for uh, putting a lot of uh, fat cover on. You'll probably get them to a three. Uh, a good dairy cross blue will come back R3, an average one, run of the mill, factory cattle, O plus three. And, you know, if they've done the 90 days, they've done the 90 days. Uh, after that, you know, you're feeding them for nothing, and you know, you're not going to turn a margin on that, you're not going to make a quid, time to go. Hereford, another sort of traditional breed, and you could probably class this in with uh, Shorthorn as well. When you think of Hereford's fat, you're probably two weeks too late, so they sort of come back uh, R4L and probably they'll grade out an R4H, something in that region, so you need to be on your air game there. and. Uh, you know, keeping a close eye on those. We do quite a lot of uh, black and whites, Frisians, Holsteins. Uh, your good Frisians uh, will come back uh, O plus 4L all day long. They're not hard to feed and then you get your more Holsteiny stuff. So really they just need to do your 90 days. They'll plateau out on the growth curb. So get rid of them at, uh, at your 90 days. Don't, don't carry on trying to feed them. You're wasting your time and probably Get your fieldsman down from your processor, he'll bid you one price, we'll, we'll think they're worth something else, duke it out a bit, go for flat rate, dead easy.